What's up guys, it's Alexandria Pike. Welcome to my channel. People call me Alex. And in today's video, I'm going to be reading a real ghost story. I'm going to be reading a story called Left Behind. And after this, uh, I, I might read a funny, a scary story after that. So, let me zoom in. Because I'm not wearing those glasses. They give me headaches. Okay. Left Behind is the name of the story. Left Behind. Do you ever get that nagging feeling that you, you've forgotten something? Yes. You have know that feeling when you've left something behind but you can't remember what it is. I've always done that since... Uh, since... 5th grade. But 8th grade, I would always do uh, feel like I'm forgetting something. But I can remember, so I would go to school. Remember that I forgot my lunchbox. Remember I forgot my two bottles of water. I always forget things. I hate it. It was just after 6 when I left the office and w walked to the bus stop. As I stood there waiting for the bus to arrive, I have a strange sense of unease. I felt as if I had left something important behind, but I couldn't think of think what it was. Maybe it's nothing. I tried to assure myself, but but something was nagging nagging at me. I felt like going back to check, but I was too tired. I just wanted to get home. When the bus came. I piled in with the other passengers. As usual, all the seats were taken. I clung to the handrail as the bus lurched back and forth. I bumped into the man behind me and said, I'm sorry, but he just looked away. Is is that an extra thing? Like when you go on a bus to travel somewhere, is there actually handles though? Because I've never been on that kind of a bus. I've been on like a trolley um, to go to it on the airplanes. There was no seats. I thought about my creepy boss staring at me all day. I thought about the other secretaries gasping about how he had a crush on me. Ew. I thought about the letter. I thought about the letters he told me to post. Had I forgotten them? Of course not. I thought about the meetings I had a schedule had a schedule I had had I scheduled them? Of course. Mm, ow. I Okay, um, I get bullied for this and stuff, but every time I say a word with a W, it will sound weird, like I'm saying it with an R, but when I say it with an R, it will just think, um, it just sounds like I'm saying it with a W. I have no idea how to pronounce this. It has a word rot in it. Ooh. I'm gonna just leave the W silent rot my brain for some clue as to what I had forgotten. I told myself that I would feel better when I got home, but an easy feeling wouldn't leave me. Yeah, I hate that. I got off the bus at my usual stop, but when I came home to the lane that led to my house, I finally gave in. It's no use. I thought this will be nagging at me all night. I have to go back to the office and see what it was that I overlooked. Usually whenever I go on a bus, when I'm feeling like I forgot something, I check my backpack. Check for waters. Sometimes I won't even have waters in my bag. I would usually carry them, but I had to stop bringing, um, putting them in my bag. Um, and that's when I'll remember. But I didn't have a phone that, that then. 
As tired as I was, I made my way back to the bus stop, back to the office. I was just doing this to put my mind at ease. As I got off the bus, I heard the clock strike seven. I walked quickly up the side street to the office and turned the key in the door. Quickly, I went up the stairs. When I opened the office door, I suddenly stopped in my tracks to my horror. I recognized what it was I had left behind. Oh my god. It was me. My body was laying strangled on the floor. I don't know what to say to that. Except she died. She's dead. As soon as I- okay, there. Did I read the blue headphones one? I'm gonna read the blue headphone- headphone one. Blue headphones. Except. The blue headphones is a humorous story about a girl who, for reasons she will not disclose, always wears earphones. I always wear headphones, except for when my ears start hurting from, from wearing the, these kinds of headphones. I can't wear the ones that go inside your ears because they give me ear infections. In a small town in America, there was a young girl who was very beautiful. Everyone agreed that she was the best looking girl in town. However, everyone was puzzled by the fact that she always wore a set of headphones. Wherever the girl went, she ha was never seen without the headphones in her ears. Wherever I went, they, I, would be, I would never be seen without them. I would have them in my bag or in my phone wrapped around in my bag. Yeah. Oh, that's just the same thing. One day, the girl went to the hairdressers to get a new hairstyle. When she sat down in the chair, the hairdresser asked her to remove the he headphones. The girl refused. You shouldn't have done that. And said that under no circumstances would she ever do that. Wait, does that mean she, like, sleeps with them, um, too? Like, wear them all day, in the afternoon... Supper time and not to bed. That would not be good for your ears. If I'm having trouble sleeping, I have Bluetooth headphones where I can turn it up all the way and put it on my pillow and listen to music like that. Which music helps me after I have nightmares that will wake me up. Okay, the hairdresser was puzzled but proceeded to cut her hair anyway. He, oh, it's a he. He had to cut it. Ow! He had to cut it very slowly and carefully so as not to snip the wires on her headphones. Oh! Those are wire headphones. I thought they were wireless. Because it's called blue headphones. So I was expecting it to be like Bluetooth. If you were wearing Bluetooth headphones, Ew, but then you then the hairdresser wouldn't ha ask you to remove them. The hairdresser was taking so long that after a while the girl fell asleep. When the hairdresser saw this, he carefully pulled the headphones out of her ears so that he could cut her hair more easily. That would probably tick off. That would take me off. If someone just takes it off, I would punch them. Just saying. I've done that before. There's not why I can't go to school anymore. Mm. A few minutes later, the hairdresser glanced in the mirror and noticed that the girl's face was turning blue. He 
felt the ghost pulse and realized sh that she was dead. This is just like a TikTok. Um, I watch po POVs, POVs, point of view. That's what POV stands for. Where the school is told not to take uh, headphones off, and her name is Stupid Salad. Sa Salad. Sally, stupid Sally, and she would be like, "Okay, mom." The next thing you know, she takes them off and she dies. It's kind of funny how she falls. It's just like an act. He was horrified and immediately called the police. While he was waiting for them to arrive, he remembered the headphones. He picked them up and put them in his ears to find out. Yeah, this is exactly like that TikTok. This is what the, the people would do when Sally always dies. Um, he picked them up and put them in his ears to find out what she had been listening to. He heard a voice repeating, breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale. Damn. Okay, next I'm gonna read one more story. I'll be right back. Creepy stories. So, I'm gonna be reading the child's eyes. It's 5 p.m., so. Ex child's eyes. Except, child's eyes is a very short tale of her that the things that look in the dark the things that adults can't see i'm an adult and i see ghosts kind of depends if they want me to see them what's wrong hmm. through the eyes of a child the world is very different every child has a fear of what is looking under the bed yeah I never did that I always have the feel of um, monsters being in my closet I still have a feel a feel of something could be coming out of the closet to kill me that's why I don't have a closet but whenever I'm where a closet is I freak out <laughs> I hate closets they feel what is hiding in the closet. I just said that. Or peeping in at them through the little crack and a door that's standing ajar. I never had a feel of that because I would always leave the door cracked. Um, but I don't have a door anymore because I whipped it off with my bare hands. Um, but I've always had a feel a feel of the closet of like a monster coming after me because I've seen it. Um, ho home shows and stuff, so that scared me. I My first horror movie I've seen was at the age of 10. No, 9. 9. With my, uh, my mom knowing. A doctor would tell you that children are more, much more perceptive than adults. Their eyes are able to see the things that an adult's eyes cannot see. When you grow up, you become blind to the dangers that creep and crawl th through the darkness. Child, children can see what is truly there. They see the monsters. That would be terrifying if um if my child ever does that. Um, if I have any. Or if I adopt a foster, if they can just, if they just randomly stare off and just night or bye um, to like an elephant, that would f freak me out. If you were to look for just one knife through a child's eyes, you would know what true fear really is. If you were able to see again the things you only dim dimly remember from your childhood. Imagine how terrifying that would be. Can you remember 
The sleepless nights, bowing under your covers, shaking and shivering in the darkness, afraid to move, afraid to make a sound, afraid to breathe. Those are the nights that adults forget. I'm an adult and I don't forget anything. I remember I fainted at a restaurant, hit my head off the cement floor, had a big cut on my head, and this was in fifth grade. And then that's when I started seeing ghosts. <sighs> Hold on, I've lost my place. The nights when you would cover yourself completely with the blankets so that monster couldn't see you. The night when you hold would hold, hold your breath so the monsters couldn't hear you. I still do that. Um, cause I would hear like this slam shut and I'll be like, and I would know for damn sure my parents are sleeping. Okay. That looks like a hand. I just saw a shadow. <laughs> The monster couldn't hear you. The nights when you would not as still as possible, so you wouldn't attract their attention. I would. I know y you remember those nights. Seriously. Oh, the only way to make me lay still is if I'm, if I am, if I have sleep paralysis, or I'm afraid that someone might have broken in. The only thing that would protect you was the light, bright light. You slept with the light on that made it safe. That meant they couldn't get you. I was no, I was scared of the dark when I was in fourth grade to seventh grade, and then I moved, and there will be a light switch next to my bed, another, another house that I lived in, and I would be fine with that. So I would sleep there and stuff. But now. Um, this year and last year. No. This year was when I started sleeping with a nightlight, I think. Yeah, there's a nightlight over here. Um, so one night, I didn't have the nightlight in my room. I had, we had it out in the kitchen over there. Um, one night, I went to sleep. Woke up at 3 a.m. for my night meal. And I could not breathe at all. And people think that might have been a panic attack. Because it scared the crap out of me. And I was in sun. I got the night night. And I haven't had those kind of night meals in fall. In months. Okay. Teena teenagers are caught in the middle. They still sense that. Uh, I am a teenager. They still sense that something is there in the darkness. But they will try, but they try to convince themselves it's just their imaginations. They'll embarrass to sleep with the light on. Teenagers have forgotten that light is the only way that can keep them away. Basically, I never knew that. While you're sitting there in front of your computer, do you think that the light from your monitor will be enough to keep them away? I have a laptop, so mm. we don't have those old computers anymore. We used to. That's why I saw a picture of me when I was a kid, literally climbing the tree, and no one has edited it. Sorry, it's not. Now look behind you with a child's eyes and trying to, to scream. I don't know if you heard me because I kind of mumbled, so I'm not a laugh. So I'm gonna read this one again. Now look behind you with a child's eyes and try not to scream. Oh, someone on Roblox told me to go to hell. And I was like, been there, done that. I like demons. I summon them every, every day since I was six with a Yuiji bird. I wanted to just scale them. But I did play with a used bird when I was 6 and 12. I have no idea what that other one. Okay, well if you like 
um, sto stories like this, stories, creepy stories like this, content, or any content like this, and if you want me to try new content that ha involves reading, um, because I'm good at reading. Okay. If you like content like this, please hit the subscribe button, turn on all push notifications, and smash the thumbs up button. And when I was doing that, because I saw a shadow walking by, and and it looked like it stopped, <laughs> and I and I did not have a door. So I get nervous easily. Um, if someone's listening or watching me. Which will be hard once I live with my boyfriend and my friend. When we're gonna be filming, I'll be so nervous that I'll just laugh. I was at, uh, in drama class before, and they wanted me to um, play an act at my old, old school. And I, in front of everyone, like 12 people, I was just standing in the corner, laughing the whole time. And my teacher was like, Heidi. Stop laughing. You you laughing is making me laugh. <laughs> that was hilarious. So if you like content like this, please hit the subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and smash the thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!